my grandson's responsible for this. He had music for it, and he decided, you know what? I can't keep it in sync. Every time we change something, it gets out of sync, so we'll just do the animated. Good job. Back up. Back up. Now, you notice the names? Stockton, California. In those days, it was just named, and they called it Tulibur. That's where the first male GAN in California was born. William. He was also the first person born. That we know of in that, that community, in that county. That's what independence looked like in 1855, basically after the dust had that, been settled. That's Gary over there riding the horse. That is. <laughs> you recognize it. Yeah, right. Is that your uncle? No, that's you. And that's Bill driving the wagon. Oh. <laughs> okay, baby. Fort Kearney. Anybody been there in Nebraska? Yeah. Keep going, baby. Laramie, Wyoming. This is the Wyoming. Fort Casper. Fort Bridger. Fort Hall. That's a pretty important one. That was the last spot before they made the choice to split. The people going to uh, the north above California, that was their fuel spot for those about to go into the horrible desert. And it was horrible, by the way. Uh, the alkali and so forth killed the stock. Uh, they got in serious problems out there. A lot of people died out there along with the stock. Uh, it was tough. Those were hardy, hardy, hardy people that got to California. This was their destination. This is Johnson's Ranch. It's located in California. Once they got there, they, they'd made it. They, they had gotten over the elephant. Also, they had bypassed the death spot of the Donner Party. This is down off the hill in the flatlands. Today it's Wheatland, California, that location. And they had come through all of this area. The Colfax, that's not too awfully for it. The store that our Gan, the first one that he built after going to the um, uh, mill, was right in this general area here somewhere. We're not certain of the exact spot, but in that general area. Thereafter, he went down and put another one uh, near Yuba City somewhere, somewhere in that area. We're not sure of the exact spot. Then his next store was up here just off the screen, up in Trinity County. Trinity County, as you'll see, is not the Trinity County that you know of today. It was the whole north uh, west corner of California, all of it. It was huge, and there were a lot of gold stripes and so forth. This is a map from 1848, just to give you an idea what things were like. Can you enlarge that one, babe? I can. Why do you want to enlarge? Just enlarge it a little bit. Okay. I don't know if it'll show it in enough detail or not. If you're familiar with the Central Valley and its length, Central Valley, by the way, is a huge valley. Those are the Sutter Buttes, <coughs> if you're familiar with what's up there in the north end. I found it. There's Sutter in the middle. Okay. You can see. Uh, right here. Give me a laser pointer. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> anyway, you can see right in here, here's the Yuba River that he built one of his stores on. Mm -hmm. And he headed farther up the feather to and Nevada City would have been right around here. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no, no. You're too no. far. No, here's the long, here's Coloma right there. First store. That's where the Second mill. Store. That's where Sutter's mill was. Third store. <laughs> the next one would be in that area somewhere, and then there, and then up to Trinity, <laughs> where the. And I don't think the Trinity River shows on that. Don't throw it. You, don't you dare. <laughs> so 
Okay. Uh, no levity. No levity. This is serious. <laughs> You take me out of my composure. <laughs> Sutter's Fort. Basically, when you hear about Sutter's Fort, think Sacramento. Sutter's Fort did not sit quite on the river as this shows. It sat back from the river. Uh, the present location of the Sacramento River, it sat back, I think they said 12 miles, which would put it out, oh, what would that be? In, up the American oh, River, a distance from the Sacramento at any rate. It did not sit right on the uh, Sacramento River. It's where everybody went once they got up. They go to Johnson's, they get some provisions and fresh animals, trade their stock in for what he might have in hand, and then they would go. You this is Sutter's to Fort in, up today. To Question? You back up to the Ones, Back up one on. Okay. Oh, you moved by that. Mm -hmm. Sutter was excellent for people arriving in California. His dream was to take over the north end of the state. He wanted it. Well, and he had been given the land, or bought it, he paid money for it. He'd been given one of the huge Spanish grants, and he wanted to expand upon it and make his way and he did a pretty good job with it what he had for the quite a time yes ma'am well that says it's uh, only until 1849 and you're saying most of the gans came from 1849 on to 55. yes so what happened did it just disband or what uh, it wasn't there after go back to the picture it never went away it's still there but but, once it but was what one happened one is one with all the people, remember this is a, this is an ongoing flow. Every time they got weather that allowed them to get over the pass, and they came, they weathered up on the Nevada side if they got there too early, and if those who did that found themselves in trouble, if they went up, if they stayed down on the floor, the valley floors on the Nevada side, they they made it. May have been slim pickings, but they made it if they started up the hills when they got in trouble. So if they stayed on the Nevada side, they were okay. And these people are pouring in continuously, and they're fanning out. The economy is constantly building, and people learn that, hey, I can send a post via the ships or however to Aunt Matilda or Uncle Henry or whoever in Boston, and they can send me the supplies I need to make my store, or, or, or. And what they did is they set up commerce in California. They didn't scratch just the ground for gold because they found out pretty darn quickly those were slim pickets. So they did other things. Yes, sir. You said Sutter recruited out of Swiss, Switzerland and Germany. Was he doing this by post, billboards, or placards, or pamphlets or something? Or did he go? Pamphlets. Pamphlets. That, the, the old thing, something slightly better than Ben Franklin. Okay. Now some of the trails into California. By the way, you'll notice this is one of the earliest group heading to California. Those are carts, great big massive carts. And those are all oxen, all of them. And that's how they started, that's one of the earliest ones. That's the 40, 1843 group. Okay. Found that picture scrounging. Now people need to know who Nicholas. That's an important one. Yeah. Who was his father? You tell us. I didn't put that on here. Adam C. Gann and Rosina Boys. You get that? Adam C. Adam Carter, if you will. No, 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 watch no, it. Watch no, it. I knew I could get a rise out of it. <laughs> That's one of those wonderful GAN debates, and we don't know. We don't know what the middle name was. However, everybody down the line thinks it's Carter. Yeah. And then the <coughs> other name is Boyles, and that's my family. They're in that bunch, but then that's not when my family came. Well, yes, no. 
That's why I stood up for about half the pictures. Are we ready? Yes, keep going, dear. Okay. But you can lift up that book. Book? Which yeah. one? We have one for you. The one going to uh, SoCal. SoCal. If you're really interested in your GAN family history, everybody who is interested in it need to get that book. If you can find one. Yeah. Okay? Amazon. That's the Bible. And by the way, I, uh, Carolyn um, Dufresne sent me a massive amount of paper on those folks. She's got all the information that she shared with me. I now have it. She come. I couldn't believe the package that came in the mail. Then I contacted what organization? No, no, that's not hers. Oh no. No, that's not it. This one? No, it's neither. It's not okay. here. Oh. I didn't bring that. Okay. Uh, we we wouldn't have enough time. I'd take. I would. Thea would be lost because I would overwhelm her. Because that seriously, there's that much paper. I also contacted um, a historical society that the people from SoCal, where they migrated on down the coast, and I went, Bill suggested it to me, and boy, what a treasure that one was. And the lady says, why are you interested in people down here? I said, because they're my family. Well, she says, okay, okay, big question mark. Next day, I, my computer lit up because she started finding things, and it didn't stop. I probably have emails at the house right this moment. She has been steadily feeding me with little bits and pieces, and it comes out of the woodwork. Some of it explains some of the GAN surname changes. Uh, uh, there's one of the entries story. Two brothers were getting mail and getting it confused, so one of them just out of, he'd seen it before, so he added an H on the end of the name. The N became an H, G-A-N-H. And his brother was G-A-N-N. -N. But boy, had they ever really looked at their addresses, they'd have known what lost cause that one was, but anyway. Okay, California Trail. There's the information on it. 3,000 miles of that terrain that you just saw over and over, and some of them walked the entire trip. One of our GAN ladies rode a horse the entire trip, pregnant. That was the baby that was born in Stockton. Tuleyburg, okay? Any questions about the distance and so forth? Truckee Trail was where the Donner Party got themselves in trouble. We'll be able to see that next slide. <coughs> Carson Trail was the one that became the one of choice. And those are the lake locations of the various trails somebody over there asked about. Is the Truckee Trail. <coughs> okay. yeah. And there's the Carson Trail. And the major highways pretty much tell you which ones. But the our family like this on this one right here, Highway 4. The bulk of our GANs went through there, particularly those who drove stock. One exception. If it do any of you have that price report, Henry Price? If you have Henry Price's report, he wrote a genealogy of his family. He talks about the route they went. The Gans separated and went four. They stayed on the Carson route, went to Johnson's Ranch, and then up where I was raised as a boy. They showed up in Sonoma County, directly below where I was born, raised in Mendocino County. I rode my bicycle down there as a boy. I had no clue that they were there. None, none. They're still there today. Happy. Members of the family. Go ahead. Yes. <clears throat> Railroad changed everything, but and it was also after the gold rush. Any question about that? Everybody read it? Moving right along. 
a little information so where you can find those routes pretty readily. If you look at these highway routes, you will be able to tell what were the places they went. And by the way, Highway 20 is not a piece of cake. It's, it's not bad, but it's not a piece of cake. The route Highway 4 over the top is an absolute bear. Ask my wife. I, I still have marks on the uh, <laughs> holding bar from her fingers clutching. <laughs> kind of like what she rode with him on the uh, ride down at Disney. Oh God! <laughs> 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 the handlebars there were metal, and she imprinted there too. <laughs> any question about any of those? Um, and what you're going to have to do if you're truly interested in that, and you have family in California, find out which of these routes they took, and you can, and if there's anything written about it. I was sorely disappointed by the Oregon California Trails Association of what they had in their files. It would, it would, I wasted my money. I actually bought a membership so I could access their database and I was sorely disappointed. One Mr. Gann and all that they have. And they've got a considerable amount of stuff. But it's about the trail. It's the kinds of things that she mentioned. They've done a fabulous job of mapping the trail, putting markers out, taking photographs. They even go out and fuss with BLM when they're trying to make improvements, but the records of who went, they just don't have them. Okay. We're waiting here for a second. Moving on to Sacramento. Here's what Not they. Yet. What what did you do? Are those roads four wheel drive that you're talking about? Some of them you can dr actually drive. Some they don't let you drive on them, but okay. you can drive on a parallel road with them. And yes, if you have a four wheel drive, that's the best way. Don't. Highway 4 is a highway, but I, it, it truly can. In fact, we met fire vehicles coming in on Highway 4 um, to a fire that they had heading up on top, and it was impassable. We had to pull off the side, wait until everybody got going up the hill. Uh, you just could not. Yes, there. Lewis, the 20 you mentioned, what makes it a difficult drive? It's not. It, I, in, cur in terms of the other highways. Uh, highway 50 is a full-blown, uh, heavily used highway. 80 is an interstate. 20 is an off, off the road. It's a two-lane, more like a country road. Except there are stretches of it that are wonderful, too. Okay. Get over by Williams and it's a wonderful highway. Yes, sir. Those are all paved, aren't they? Oh, all of, every bit of it's paved now. Okay. There's no, we have, California's had paved roads for old. Shoot, since I was a boy? Seriously, in Mendocino County, when I was a boy, there was only one paved road. That was the main highway, 101, through the through the county. All the others were dirt. Yes, sir. to go through there in the wintertime, those roads are closed, aren't they? Thank you, you were going where I was going. Is 20 a secondary or tertiary road? What's that? Is 20 a secondary or tertiary road? Second. But they would consider one. Because everybody pay. uses it. Want, it they don't it. close it. Highway 4, every winter, it shuts. They, they cannot keep the snow off the road. The snow this winter, which was a particularly good winter, was over 8 feet on the, high, on the highway. Okay. Dead Grab stop. It. Run it. Yes, but you're You told me stop. <laughs> yes, for a second. I need to go back to the first one. Yes, 50. it'll go back. Back it up to 50. Stop. Boop. There. Trinity County, just so you get an idea of its size, oh, yeah. these are the original counties. That's Trinity County, all of that. There's my home county, Mendocino County, and so forth. The bulk of the GANs went into this area right here. That's Calaveras County, one of the original counties. That's Tuolumne County. And the primary group went right there. That's San Joaquin County, which is where you find um, uh, French Camp, Stockton, and that group of communities. Now you're going to let her rip. Done. Now, you would like to look at this. There's the uh, URL for it. 
And for those of you who like to see how California grew, there you be. It also does other stuff. This is an actual sketch of Sacramento uh, from 1849. This is a painting in 1850. The town, if you notice how it's extending, thank you, you notice how it's extending out towards Sutter's Fort. Sutter's Fort was out farther. There's two, there, there's a river confluence there. The American River, which comes straight out of the Sierras, and the Great Sacramento River, which drains all the north end of the valley. On the south end of the valley, it's the San Joaquin River. 1851. Now our family, are, are, we have family well established there now. They're scratching on the ground like crazy. They're also running their little stores, or, or, or. They're also hauling goods. That was another thing the Gans immediately got involved in. They had a stage system. They had a freight system. They knew how to work the economy. They were good businessmen, all of them. And they sold horses, they sold cows. They fed them and gave them their transportation. 1860, now you see the metamorphosis of the state. Trinity County, up, we'll back up one, please. Trinity County has now shrunk down here. And these are starting to break, break apart, all that area there. My Mendocino County stayed pretty basically the same size. Gans went there. I didn't know it. Other than mine. Mine, of course, I knew. Stockton. This was where our first Gan was born. Can anybody tell me where the second Gan was born? Stockton. Anybody know? Do you, Thea? No, no, it was not. But that's a that is a good guess. But no, Hangtown, Placerville. Okay. Okay. Raise a hand if you're not done. Hang on. Look, everybody read that. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going back. If I can. There we go. Leave her sit. Anybody not read that? It, one more. By the way, you have a brand new hit. Seriously. Is more in here? Nope. Really? I can. <laughs> you did see the GAN there, I trust, and the birth. Okay.